I had to sharpen the blade, not not being satisfied with uh, some chatter marks I got. That uh, it's easier to get if you go also to, to round off. So you stop halfway, and then don't round off. I mean, don't go over the edge. But if the blade is not sharp enough, or you have a uh, uh, less angle or you know combination, then you will get chatter marks. So uh, with the proper technique, you should not get any chatter marks. And before you start, when you put this on, you will feel then. Uh uh, here is something wrong. And then you can usually see that also. In this case, there is an artifact here, or it was on the dovetail, I guess. You can see that. It's a shame on me. And did not do the cleaning well enough. Just a tiny speck. That's all it takes. Better. It's also probably a good idea to keep track. So I have two cycles or four uh, scrapes to each way is one cycle for me. And then seven or three and a half then uh, with the bikes that is to not go too far down without knowing how many as compared to the other side so to keep track i could also walk the level from this uh, placement here which i know is flat and then set zero there and then move upwards and the distance I have then moved 16 centimeters or call it 20 then for simplicity because this is a 200 level on one meter and then this moved three marks three lines and then this is one fifth of a meter, so then this would mean that each mark would be like uh, four thousandths, so it moved one point two hundredths of a millimeter up on that distance. So then I know how much I will go down. And um, saying that, I have one, two, almost three, let's say two and a half times that. So it's 1.2 times two and a half, which is boom, how much? Six, seven. And I have about five, um, five hundreds difference here to here. So it corresponds or is in the ballpark how much I can I have to take this down. Small tip, a hint to get into a corner is just a flashlight. These have become really cheap and small, so thereby you can shine into the dovetail and just easily see what you're doing. I also like to use uh, shims to for field gauges and I see that this side I have coverage with a very thin layer of blue so I'm close uh, but it, it, it is not on the other edges here and I can get a 100 so that's four th tenth under here and not here so I think it's a bit this way the way there so I need to take it a little bit on the inside get then um, then can they do a bit testing to reveal any hollowness.